This video reports on research being conducted at Iowa State University on analyzing and exploring multivariate spatial data. The members of the research team include Jurgen Semanzik, Jim Major, and Diane Cook. The aim is to provide a platform for interactive exploratory analysis of multivariate spatial data through a fast, mouse-controlled graphical environment. This is provided by linking a geographic information system, ArcView, and a dynamic graphics program, XGOBI. Analysis is conducted by carrying out linked brushing. Linked brushing refers to the capability to change the color and or symbolic representation of points in either the GIS or the dynamic graphics program and see the corresponding points in the other program displayed automatically. Sampling locations in the GIS can be brushed to see their locations in the data space being displayed in XGOBI and, conversely, points in XGOBI can be brushed to see from which sampling locations they were collected. The data being used in this illustration were taken by the SPOT Earth Observation Satellite on April 22, 1990. The location of the scene is in Adams County, Iowa, in the Lake Icaria watershed. For each pixel in the scene, the satellite has recorded the reflectance of electromagnetic radiation in three bands or ranges of wavelength. Thus, the data can be considered multivariate. The goal of the analysis will be to identify the type of land cover from the three-dimensional band data collected by the satellite. In order to reduce the number of data points to a manageable size for exploration, the image was sampled. The sample was collected on a regular grid, the lower left-hand corner of which was established randomly. This is known as a systematic random sample. To begin the analysis, the point theme containing sample locations is made active and the Go button is pressed. All of the data associated with each point is then passed into the XGOBI Dynamic Graphics Program. In this case, the variables include the three bands collected by the satellite and one variable representing the results of a hierarchical cluster analysis of the satellite band data. Begin by letting the band data rotate in three dimensions. Notice that because the data are very planar, the problem can be reduced to two dimensions. Next, rotate the data cloud until the maximum variance in the data is displayed. The data appears to be in the form of a triangle. First, we will brush the corners of the data triangle in turn to see if a corresponding land cover can be identified. Brushing the points in the top corner of the plot identifies points that fall on the red portions of the image. These are areas of actively growing vegetation. Brushing the points in the left corner of the plot identifies points that fall on the light blue portions of the image. These are areas of bare soil and roads. Brushing can also be carried out in the other direction. By brushing the points in the lake, it can be seen that these points fall in a very tight cluster in the data space.
After the link to XGOBY has been initiated, the XGOBY window can be cloned so that additional sets of variables can be displayed and analyzed. Here, we have cloned XGOBY and displayed a dot plot of the variable that represents the results of a hierarchical cluster analysis of the satellite band data. It can be seen immediately that the brushing of the three corners corresponds closely to three of the clusters located in the cluster analysis. Additional brushing can also be done in the cloned copy of XGOBY and displayed in the original copy and the map view. Additional interactive analysis and the cluster analysis allowed the satellite image to be classified into nine land cover types using discriminant analysis. The results are shown here. Water is shown in blue. Actively growing vegetation is shown in red. Bare soils and roads are shown in light blue. And the remaining areas are shown in various shades of purple, illustrating their close association in the data space. Because of XGOBY's capabilities to view higher dimensional data sets, this system provides a flexible and powerful environment for exploring multivariate data in a spatial context.